Hi everybody, I'm getting ready to let in the ladies of AMC into our design chat. And tonight we're going to be selecting the pocket types and the pocket placement. So stay tuned. Hi everybody. Kathy suggested angling the body panels too. Mm -hmm. And she did a paper prototype. She said it looked fabulous. So if we only angled it to the exact same angle, and this is where I'm wishing I did have paper for you all, because this navy is hard for you to see. Um, so let's just focus on this piece. Imagine if the top was angled just a little bit. So it kind of give it like a hourglass, like a little yeah. body at the top. Can anybody picture that? It's like handbag shape, sort of. Yeah. What do we think about that? Okay. okay. Will it bow out this way? No, I think it would go this way. It will go in. in. Like, well, this is exaggerated, but like this, yes? Yeah. So it'd be more narrow at the top and you can fill up the bottom. Yeah. And then another like kind of inspiration that I had, I don't know if it, I don't want to make this too complicated, right? Like our hundred pockets. Like I'm not going there. <laughs> but what if there was a little bit of piping around that front? Mm. I've never done piping before, so I'm interested. I've never done piping. This really looks good. On the side seams, you mean? Yeah, like if that were angled and then you could just take just a little bit of piping on that front. To show it off. So then we would have this interesting angle on the front of the bag. So uh, what we were talking about for everybody who just joined is the possibility of like adding faux piping or a little accent around that seam to really make it pop. And then that, that could be completely optional because it wouldn't matter if you omitted it. The design's not dependent upon it. Now, when you it's, talk about the piping, do you, does it have to have the rope in it or are you talking just even fabric plain? I think it could just be plain fabric too, yeah. As I was say, I've done something similar to that purely by accident because it was a little bit longer than the other panel. So it kind of was peeking out and I'm like, okay, well, that's what and I And it looks about. good, right? Well, it yeah. does look good. So is anyone opposed to me angling this at the exact same angle? No. no. Okay. I think it'll be nice. So I'm just gonna lay these side panels right on top of there um, because then I can show you what that piece looks like because we have to decide about all these pockets tonight. The last time I looked, the zipper closure was winning. Has, has anything changed since then? I looked earlier today and it was like 10 or 11 ahead of the other one, so. Yeah. Okay, so just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit is coming off of there. So it's very subtle, but it could have a really fun shape mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. It's a difference in a pencil skirt and a straight skirt. Yeah, that's a great way to- A pencil skirt is a little more something. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's exactly it, isn't it? Yep. Okay, pockets, inside and outside. Good. <laughs> you have, good. <laughs> it's a darn good thing I did 100 pockets last time because you guys won't be pocket crazy. <laughs> you be like, one. <laughs> All right, what do you think for the exterior? panels what kinds of pockets do you want slip pockets do you want like the? we talked about maybe doing that zipper so all you see is the zipper and the pocket goes inside between the lining making it very coach like okay so on one side full length so what are you guys putting in there Oh I just gosh. like the ones that you see in normal. I carry my kitchen are... sink in my bag, so yeah. I carry yeah. everything. You know what you can do? <laughs> if you have, if I get stranded, I can live out of my bag for a week. 
If you have the two, um, the, the two tabs, you could actually sew it down the middle and have yeah. it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good idea. That's nice. Okay. So let's do it two ways. Zip. Okay. One side then has the zipper with the option of dividing it. What's on the other side? A clear vinyl pocket. Veronica, it's so funny how everybody has their, their <laughs> things. <laughs> vinyl, we're definitely working the vinyl in. Veronica is still playing that $100 okay. pocket. I can't believe you're not putting a mesh pocket in. Right. I'm what not. are we putting in the clear vinyl pocket, Veronica? Candy bars, of course. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, all the liquids we have to carry now, your hand sanitizers, the alcohol wipes, they can go in there. <laughs> So if it leaks, you can wipe it right out. Definitely, sure. yeah. I'm going to say the that. But the rest of the bag, I wouldn't do vinyl. Vinyl. No, clear <laughs> yeah, vinyl. vinyl. Just a clear vinyl pocket. Yeah, I like I like Joyce's idea. Let's sew a vinyl pouch to throw inside of it. <laughs> That's better. Yeah. I, the only reason I'm shying away from the vinyl is because if it's supposed to be a dressing it, it's supposed to be a more upscale purse not and no. if they don't okay, have the right <laughs> foot or a heavy duty machine with the canvas they're going to be fussing and yeah. yeah so okay so you still have a whole nother side do you want some smaller pockets for smaller things you know or elastic the elastic top is kind of nice um i like the ones that are in my my little craft caddy Double fold over elastic. I think the pattern was called the one that um, had the craft different colors. Craft caddy. Mm -hmm. The plastic pockets are nice. I usually add about five inches to it if I'm going to do an elasticized pocket. And then that gives you plenty of fabric. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the body panels are the birds. Can I use this yet for the pocket? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It the, inside, the inside pockets. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Is that okay? It. Yeah. Yeah. And now you're using a fourth fabric. No. On no. the inside. No. Okay. It's just on the inside, Tammy. And believe it or not, I still have another one. So can I line the inside of the pocket? <laughs> you, can, you can do whatever you like. You can do whatever you like. Tammy is like you're killing me with all this fabric. Andrea, because <laughs> if would, I line I the pockets with white, that'll give them just a little easier bit to pocket. see too. Yeah, so yeah. I can see what's in them. Okay, well I have no problem using five fabrics in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> There's only gonna be three. There's only gonna be three. Okay, so anything else on the inside? Key fob. Yeah, you should always key fob in. Yes. What side? Okay. Should it be up with the zipper and the trim? I put mine in the um, elastic slip pocket. I show it when I do my slip pocket inside out on the inside. I kind of tuck that up so that it catches in the seam. Oh, smart, Michelle. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. when I, so I make basically just a tube and leave the sides open, turn it right side out, press it. So do you want it so it's on the elasticized pocket side then, not inside the zipper pocket? Right. I'm probably not going to do elastic, so. I might not either. <laughs> you know, if you're, are you thinking about putting it, um, like attaching it through the, the gusset that you're using for the zipper? Mm -hmm. like a and it ball. could stay on the inside of the zipper yeah. pocket. And it could go. On either side, you could, whoever's making it could, if you, they could say, where's, the, could, where's the handle going? So they, they're going to vote this week on the handle. Oh. So that's the last thing we have to discuss tonight is the options that we're giving them for the handles. Because this bag still could have a single wide handle on it, mm -hmm. a shoulder, it could be mm -hmm. a shoulder bag. It definitely could be two handles can be a removable handle and two handles? Or am I missing any kind of handle? How about if it tapered? 
if it was wide where it met the oh, side right. and then tapered in. Also, nice. I don't have the shoulder to support a five like inch. It, oh <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> strap could have an angle. So what a contoured strap, contoured strap. Yeah, that's fun. That's 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 a good idea, Faye. I like that. That's an you awesome. don't see that a lot. We're brainstorming. Yeah, it you don't see that a lot. Wait, nice. it, it goes as big as a bag. Come maybe from like five inches to maybe three to two and a half. Yeah, I That's love nice. that. Make sure you mm -hmm. go for that. Yeah, I like that. Oh yeah, yeah. it's something different. It's not you know. Mm -hmm. That's very awesome, Faye. Um, and then I'm gonna want to give them the option of a double strap and a um, removable messenger strap because that would work with it too. Crossbody strap, like. Yeah. Yeah, and because in case it does become like a travel bag, that mm -hmm. might be yeah. practical. Okay, and then um, is there any other strap that could possibly work with this? That's it. I can't. Yeah, because I'm thinking if you do the double straps with the removable messenger, those straps would be kind of short, so you could mm -hmm. just grab it mm -hmm. and go, and then. <laughs> I'll see you next Thursday to decide on this interfacing. And I'm going to strive to have a prototype to hold up to show you what we've created. So there's still time for last minute changes if you really don't like the look of it. Okay. okay? All right. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. See you next week, guys. Bye-bye. Wow. Those are always so much fun. So that was like an hour and 15 minutes. The sun set. We made great progress. I want everyone to vote for the contoured handle. This is going to make this bag. So we, in a nutshell, we decided on angling those exterior panels as well. So this bag's going to have a really awesome shape. We're adding two slip pockets to the front and the rear possibility of piping down those side panels and then on the inside you're going to have a full length zipper pocket with the option to divide that pocket a key fob can be attached on the exterior or the interior of the zipper pocket then on the opposite interior panel you're going to have three slip pockets, which you also have the option of elasticizing if you'd like a little bit more storage there. And then this bag is going to have a zipper top. And I think that's it. So the decisions that you all need to make today are if you would like a contoured shoulder strap, two handles or double straps, or a double strap and a removable messenger strap so you could carry the bag crossbody or over the shoulder. So this is a lot of fun and it is getting real. Please vote in the poll. I'll leave the link to that down in the notes and then join me next Friday to see what kind of interfacing we're using on this project and receive the supply list for the sew along. So thank you for spending this time with me. Thank you for designing with me. And please know as always, the creative genius in me will be celebrating the creative genius in you. I hope you all have a great week.